Hi everybody, uh, Dr Biology here and this is Math Skills and Equations for GCSE Biology and Combined Science Biology for Paper 1. I'd like to thank one of my students for this idea. So uh, she was asking me the other day, what are the equations I need to know, Dr Biology and Dr B, she said. And I said, that's a really good idea for a video. So let's get going. Right, so first of all, Math skills and equations are really important. So in terms of maths, calculating mathematical um, things, then it's actually 10% of the paper. Uh, they're not going to ask you anything more difficult than you already know. Um, and sometimes they even give you the equations. So let's first of all talk about uh, the actual equations you need to know. So for foundation tier, you need to know the word equation for photosynthesis and for higher tier you'll need to know both okay you need to be familiar with um, the symbol equations aerobic respiration the same so uh, in foundation tier it's the word equation and in higher tier you need to know both equations then anaerobic respiration in animals, you need to know the word equation. You need to be familiar that glucose is C6H12O6, but in animals that produces lactic acid and a small amount of energy. In plants, glucose is partially broken down into ethanol, carbon dioxide, and again, a small amount of energy. OK, so using equations. So in paper one, the first thing was related to cells and that's magnification. So the best way to remember that is what I call the I am triangle or am I triangle. Um, and that allows you to work out the actual image, which is image size divided by magnification, the magnification, which is the image size divided by the actual image. Um, in terms of image size, probably you won't be asked that. You'll probably either be asked actual magnification. And the key thing is you need to reuse a ruler. Now, if you have a ruler that has been with you ever since the start of primary school, then it's probably not up to standard because you won't be able to see the millimeters because you need to measure the image, the length of the image in millimeters. I've done some really good videos on this if you're not too sure on this, and I'll put the... Uh, link in and you can actually see the link on this um, this video right so converting units so you a lot of the time you need to check the units you're given in the question and then the units you expect to give your, your answer in okay so to convert your units do the calculation shown in the diagram so e.g. if you're going from millimeters to meters you divide the number by a thousand so six millimeters equals 0 0.06 meters but the most common thing you'd be asked is to convert millimeters into micrometers and the way that you do that is to times your answer by 1000. They could also ask you about nanometers and even picometers. Right, in the required practical for GCSE biology, you would need to know the effectiveness of antiseptics or antibiotics, and you need to know about inhibition zones. So inhibition zones are areas of clear areas where bacteria have been killed by, let's say, an antibiotic, and you might be asked to measure it. So you measure it using pi r squared to work out the area of the clear zone. So use your ruler, work out the diameter, and then half of that is the radius. So radius is diameter divided by two. So the area of the clear zone is pi r squared. So in the case that I've given you, it would be 3.14, which is pi, or you could just put pi in your calculator, times five, times five, uh, which gives 78.5 millimeters squared. You could be asked as well for the required practical related to osmosis and other things, calculating percentage change. So remember, it's the final value minus the starting value, that's the change in mass, divided by the starting value times it by 100. So here's an example. So it says a willow tree initially has a mass of 2.27 kilograms. After five years, it has a mass of 76.74. So what you would do is the final minus the, the starting mass divided by the starting mass times 100. And that tells you the increase, the percentage increase. 
using equations so you might be asked uh, you might put you more than likely would be given these equations so cardiac output for example heart rate you might need to uh, work out beats per minute so that would be the cardiac output divided by the stroke volume if you want to work out the cardiac output it's the stroke volume times the heart rate calculating a mean always comes up so remember you add them up and then divide the total by the number of pieces of data so that will tell you if there are any anomalous results then you would remove them before you calculate the mean mode and medians has come up in exams so the mode is the number which appears most often in a set of numbers okay so in this case it is 12 because it appears most often and median is the middle number where the data is set is placed in numerical order so the median is 11 in this example calculating percentage so there are several methods of calculating percentages um, and so you might have to calculate percent what percentage one number is of another okay so method one is dividing your number by a hundred so this gives you one percent for example and then multiply the number by the percentage you want so 45 percent of 560 so 560 divided by a hundred times 45 gives you the answer or you could write out your percentage as a decimal so 0.1 multiply the number by your number so in the second example it is 45% um, is 0.45 so it's 560 times 0.5 again probably in your schools within maths they've told you a particular method I would just stick to the method that you're really familiar with standard form yes you might have to show things in standard form okay so we show figures as numbers what between 1 and 10 and multiplied by a power of 10 so the index number tells us how many place values to move the digit so the n so for, in this case 1.15 times 10 to the 6 so that is six movements of six um to, so to make 1.15 times 10 to the 6 and I'll be honest most of the time they are reverse numbers so if it's um, a smaller number um, then it's usually 1.15 times 10 to the minus 6 so that would be the other way around be less than 1 okay I hope you found that useful please do subscribe um, I will do the same for paper 2 soon um, I hope your revision is going well and I'll see you soon